Alright, well we should get started. Hello, it's the Sumo Platform meeting. Kadir and Rosanna and Madalena and David uh, and lots of people are doing a, a tri there he is, I knew it, tribe session. So they're not here today. Uh, but we are, and um, we should get started. So, on this ether pad, I'm looking, there were no actions from last week or or anything. So there's just these uh, status updates, and we should probably just talk about a, a couple of these things. I don't know if it's going to take very long, but... Um, so the first one was we have a new show for, and people have been really good about saying, hey, this thing here is funky, and this thing here is funky. And so I, we've been filing bugs and fixing them like super quick, which is awesome. Um, is there anything else to say about that? You guys want to? It's it's very cool. Um, oh, I know. I had one question. I know, Ricky. I showed you. I filed that bug about the admin interface and being able to like. I can't switch the default Android version. Or I can't switch uh, default versions. I guess I don't know. Yeah, so I tried to be too clever with that, okay. um, and so what you would would have had to do in the past was uh, delete the default version and then add a new one, because there could only ever be one or zero default versions. Um, and so I fixed that yesterday. Um, so now just don't set two default versions. And actually, wait. Well, it wasn't. I would like I unchecked twenty four. Right, like I but twenty five, and then when you save it, it says no. Nope. All right, but then you save it, and then it goes through all of them, and it sees twenty five, and tries to turn that on, and then at that moment, both twenty five and twenty four are still on. Oh, so if I uncheck it, save it, and then yeah. check the new one and save it, that's the work. Uh, yeah, and actually, I lied. That is not on the server yet. That will be there in a few minutes. Oh, okay. Awesome. Um, so yeah, I, I just, just be aware that if you set two default versions for one product, funky things happen. Right. Like, nothing okay. will blow up, but it just acts so, funny. So soon, so as soon as this thing lands, then I can uncheck it, set it, and then check the new one and set it. No, uh, th th that's what you can do now. Oh, okay. Uh, as, so, as soon as this new thing lands, you'll be able to do what you what you tried to do, where you just change the boxes and click save. Gotcha. Okay. And good. that also includes a change for the uh, slugs not working properly. Okay, so we can go put them back to being periods or whatever. Yeah. Okay. For those following along, one of the cool things about the new show for deal is that there's now an admin interface for controlling. Uh, what versions the wiki supports and what the, the default uh, version is for each product and all of that. So I can get rid of my six week recurring to do item list to file a bug to say please do this thing with show for. Um, and now it's just you can go into the admin interface and check stuff and you click save. Yay. Which is pretty, that's pretty cool. That's a nice side benefit of the new show floor. Um, form escalate tag. What's the deal with that? Uh, so I see that we have, uh, we're going to automatically escalate things after 12 hours, and everyone with contributor access can escalate. Uh, uh, a question. So the thing about that is, this came up because I was I asked Rachel about it and she said, mm -hmm. um, maybe only moderators. She says I can't escalate, and I said, oh, huh, I don't know who's supposed to be able to, but I've, is it because she's not in the contributor group then? Maybe uh, it's probably because she's not in the contributor group. Um, I believe that the way that Kadir set it up was that it's for all contributors are able to, to do the post or to post the escalate tag. 
So we may have lots of people who are contributors who are not in the contributor group. How do we, um, I don't know how we fix that or figure out who is and not in because that group is also super large with like lots of people who shouldn't actually be, they're not actual contributors. They're just people who contribute in there. No, no, they're like people who ask oh, the oh, questions the other and, way. Then, right, and then right. put themselves in the contribute group even though they don't, that's not what they wanted to do. Because our UI for that used to be kind of confusing, and still is, but. And yeah, even we made it better, but it's still confusing to people or something. All right. Well, I, I think we'd, we'd have to handle it on an ad hoc basis at the moment. Like if somebody says they're not able to to use the escalate tag, then we go and look at what their access is and and fix it. So far, there haven't been a whole lot of reports. I think it's going to be a lot. Uh, it's the the escalate tag is going to be used a lot more uh, by the the automated the automated uh, escalation function. Sent from actual people. Right. At least right, at least in the beginning. Okay, so maybe the way for people to fix it themselves is if you are logged in, aha, and you go to the Get Involved page, and you see a big blue button that says sign up as a contributor, like I just saw a big blue button that says sign up as a contributor. And I clicked it, and the page refreshed, and the button went away. Does that mean I just added myself to the contributor group? Does anyone know? Ricky. Yeah. Um, so if you're signed in and you see the button, that means you're not in the group. And once you click the button, you'll be added to the group. Okay. So that's the. Okay, I'm gonna add that note. So, so since apparently that's confusing, maybe we should add like a a flash message at the top of the screen. Congratulations, you are now marked to be a contributor. Uh, if you if this wasn't what you meant, click here to undo. Yeah, that would be awesome. Uh, let me see. Yeah, there, uh, there's still a discussion going on on the forums, um, so uh, we'd love to hear your input if you have anything additional to, to say about it. So go, I will uh, add the thread to this etherpad. Awesome, thank you. Um, let's see, okay. Performance issue fixed, sort of, yes? So that bug got closed. Uh, Sumo's nice and fast now. Yeah. Things load. Well, but there is still yeah. some underlying issue to work on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not the deal. Yeah, but it shouldn't happen much like before. Like, right. It's like in a once in a while thing. Yeah. Okay. So is this, um, is it an IT thing, the, the underlying deal, or is this? 
something that Simo Dev has to work on. Just curious. We're working with IT um, on it. Uh, probably next week we'll be working more on it because uh, Frosty is our IT, our main IT contact, and he's doing Tribe uh, this week in Paris. So. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I suspect something in, in, in the infrastructure, like Mod Whiskey, but we don't have any proof of anything. So. Uh, let's see, get involved, button on homepage not being translated, do I open a bug? Who, somebody just joined and added this, anybody know about this? Um, oh, I added. Oh, is this Ralph? Yeah. Oh, you're not showing up your name on the computer pad, that's why. Oh, okay. okay. Can you explain? Uh, um, yeah, so for some reason, um, on that homepage, if you click on that link, um, Everything should be in Portuguese, but the Get Involved button on the bottom, uh, it's not being translated for some reason. Uh, I checked on verbatim, and it's uh, and the string show is translated, so I'm not sure uh, what's happening there. Um, but once you click on any of the products, uh, then that same button, uh, Get Involved, uh, it becomes translated. Uh, so I posted another link uh, right below it with the Firefox product. So I wasn't sure if I should open a bug. Uh, if it's something that I should open a bug, or if it's something that might be small. Good question. Uh, who knows about that, Ricky? Uh, it's probably something. It's probably a missing your text call. Let's see. What they do. <laughs> Is it easier, uh, Ricky? Is it easier for you if uh, if I open bugs in these cases, or uh, just let you know directly, and then you let me know if I should open a bug for something like that? Or um, so this one is super easy. Yeah, well, but yeah, yeah. In, in general, bugs are good. Uh, I see. I get text call for it. Is, is it possible that we're them like out of sync? Uh, might be possible. Um, here, I can test it locally to see if. Um, yeah, I, I can test it locally to see if it's translatable and just there's nothing for that language. Okay. Um, okay, I'm committing. Oh. Uh, I'm committing to DCS again. So, okay. so um, I'm seeing the case, like the the word casing is different between the two. So it might be two different strings, and verbatim. <clears throat> but we should probably just fix the casing so it's consistent and it works. I'll do it right now. Did that make sense? That's what I said. I don't know. Yeah, that, that made sense. Uh, on verbatim, there are some uh, some strings that are that seem to be repeated sometimes. And uh, sounds like something someone is like abusing a keyboard. <laughs> Thank you. So I was unwrapping my donut. It better be good. Um, cool. Anything else? What else we got? Anything else to talk about today? Ooh, look at that. Is that chocolate? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Going once. Twice. All right. I think we're done. We can add watch Patrick eat a donut to the gym. <laughs> be, be jealous. I go, mm, I want a donut. Goodbye. See you next week. All right. All right. Bye, okay. y'all.
Later.